Corinne from our Calgary office uh, with Sotheby's International Realty Canada in Calgary. And Corinne, how are you? How are you doing? How are you faring in this market? You know what? I'm actually doing pretty good. Thank you, Richard, for um, having us and for yeah. interviewing all of us. I've enjoyed your videos um, you. so far, and it's very, very interesting to hear about all the markets. So um, tell me about the market you would normally serve. Where is it? What part of Calgary? What's the price range? What's the entry price? Sure. So, um, you know, obviously Calgary, for those of anyone that may not know where we're located, we're very close to Banff, which is more of a popular international destination. Um, we're about an hour from Banff. And, um, you know, um, typically, uh, as you know, our market is very energy centric. Yes. So, um, in basically in the past kind of five years, we have, because of that, had a bit of a more challenging market than many other yeah. markets have had. Yeah, um, for, for those who don't know, it's uh, the Cal uh, Calgary sort of like parts of Texas, which are mm -hmm. very dependent on oil and gas. And um, I come from a city about 200 miles north of Calgary and it's called Edmonton. And I think in the past 20 years, the market's been up and down five or six times. Mm -hmm. it's, much well, more, it's much more a volatile market because of the oil and gas issue rather than just housing. 100%, and funny you should mention that because I'm actually from Edmonton originally. Actually, I didn't know that. Yeah, St. Albert, I grew up in St. Albert. Yeah. And I actually got my degree at the U of A. Wow. Oh. Congratulations, that's great. I started at the U of A, I finished in Oregon for some reason, but uh, it's a long story I won't get into. So tell me about who is your normal client? Who is the, per are they young? You know what, I, so just to kind of backtrack a little bit, I actually was uh, one of the original 10 agents in the Calgary office. So great. Our Calgary office is, you know, a little bit newer than, you know, some of the offices across Canada and the major cities, Toronto, Vancouver. We opened in 2011. I was actually one of the original 10 agents that started there. And I was very fortunate to um, very shortly thereafter have one of the highest sales in the city. Um, I worked very hard to get that listing. I worked very hard to sell that listing. Yeah. A lot of agents said, you will never sell that listing because it was, a, it was a pretty high price. At that time, the Sotheby's brand was pretty new to our market. Yeah. Um, however, it did end up selling. So I was very fortunate for that. And that actually helped me to kick off, obviously, not only the Sotheby's name in our city, but also my personal brand. So Great. since then, I've... I've been obviously attracting more of the higher end of the market. So I typically um, would serve a client, you know, the million dollar plus market. Um, typically, I would say it's, it would be one of our typical Sotheby's clients. So they may have a portfolio of properties. Mm -hmm. um, not to say that I wouldn't... Um, um, you know, do a lower priced uh, property because a lot of our clients, as you know, have portfolios, their kids have smaller condos and they also have vacation properties. So um, that is, that would be my typical client right now. And I do work with a lot of builders and developers um, along with that. And I think it's just been built over the years, um, you know, with my reputation. Now, one of the best things about this group, uh, the, as we've been introducing people to uh, to each other and to the public yeah. and everything, is we're part of a group that is uh, 50 or 60 strong, I believe, and we are all over Canada, the United States. So anytime I have a client who's moving to Calgary, I call Corinne and vice versa. And if somebody needs to go up north or go down to the south to Naples, Florida, we call Friley. So it's, a, yeah. it's really wonderful. As a matter of fact, I just put together an agent outside of Sotheby's uh, today with Kevin Brown in New York. So he'll be looking after, you know, he'll be looking after uh, this other agent's clients and non-Sotheby's. So we're always there for any, you know, because we have this international group, we're always there to help with your referrals. 
Oh, and you know what? I I completely agree 100%. I think I had mentioned on one of our last calls that I had just recently been down in Scottsdale with a client, a buyer client of ours that uh, was looking in Scottsdale with, you know, one of our uh, great contacts Agents, down there, yeah. Lisa, right? Yeah. So, um, definitely, definitely loving being part of this and our, our referral uh, base and, you know, more as well relationship based. Yeah, it's pretty amazing uh, the way we are set up to share and, and share uh, experiences. So tell me what's going on now with Calgary. You have a bit of a depressed market because of the oil and gas, but mm -hmm. what's happened now with COVID-19 or coronavirus? So it's pretty interesting because, um, you know, at, at the beginning of March and leading into March, like typically Calgary, we have a pretty busy um, spring right. market. Right. So the first two weeks of March, we're actually showing some signs of improvement. Yeah. And in fact, um, the million dollar sales were up a nominal 5% here wow. in Good. the first two weeks. Ah. So, yeah. I mean, you know, we were kind of all, you know, looking forward to uh, working with that market and, you know, preparing our sellers for listings and, uh, you know, a good, you know, maybe more of a balanced market as opposed to a buyer's market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, as we all know, by mid-March, things had changed. The world uh, changed. Yeah. yeah. We, I had actually just returned from Scottsdale. And um, so, as you know now, we don't have a full lockdown here in Calgary, but we are considered an essential service in Alberta. Oh, I didn't know you had a full, you had a full or you didn't have a full oh, lockdown. Oh, no, we don't have a full lockdown. Yeah. Um, but they are recommending that we do stay at home as much as possible. A yeah. lot of people are very unified here in, you know, the social distancing. And yeah. I would say, you know, the majority of companies, if they can, are working from home right now. Yeah. 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 So is, is our office open in Calgary or not? No. So not basically we were probably one of the first offices to um, mm -hmm. close when our yeah. city um, announced, announced yes. restrictions. So, um, you know, but you know, things are happening. Transactions are still yeah. happening. We're not allowed to do open houses. No, 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 for right. sure. Unless virtual, virtual right. open houses you can right. do. Yeah. Right. Right. So, um, you know, we have some stringent showing product protocols in place, yeah. Yeah. And those, you know, those clients that still want to sell or need to sell, I think we're still able to deal with them. And, you know, I'm finding that is still happening. So, um, yeah. I actually have a smaller listing come up. They don't necessarily have to sell. They're just ready to move on. It's one of the properties yeah. in their portfolio and, yeah. you know, we've, communicated the new protocols with them and they're on board and they're just they're going to go ahead and list yeah we had we actually listed something about a week ago and we had an offer on it jim sold it last night it was amazing so uh nice. you know, it's conditional upon inspection or a conditional right. upon building inspection but also the inspection by the buyer so yes. i'm sure it'll be fine it's uh, we had great photos we had great backup we had great walkthroughs uh, the agent walked their, you know, their client, the agent did, a, uh, or the seller, sorry, did a walkthrough for right. the agent's client. Nice. Yeah, it just. Yeah, well, that's great. Yeah, you have to do it. You have to do it. Yeah. You have to adapt yeah. and, and be creative. So what kind of well, creativity, th what kind of creative things are you looking at this year, do you think? Well, you know what, at the, and you know what, just to kind of um, expand on that, the whole open house Thing. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to ask you, like, what do you think? I think now, um, and, you know, for myself, I do deal with a lot of higher end clients, a lot of developers, a lot of vacant properties, brand new right. properties. Right. Mm -hmm. And these people aren't necessarily, they never really wanted open houses to begin with. So yes. um, I had always been on site with any uh, showings anyways. So yes. now with this new technology, I find that, you know, where it's actually a good opportunity with the virtual tours to really vet out, you know, number one, are the buyers serious? But number two, yeah. are they qualified? 
And you see that like as a trend, you think the typical physical open house is slowly going to, as we get used to more of this technology, what do you think? think, I think that's, I mean, right now we have Matterport 3D uh, views. Um, You can get a sense of the size of the house, the rooms, you can do all sorts of things with uh, um, uh, virtual staging and, but you know what, I, I think the agent walkthrough of the house, or even mm. if you want to, um, I'm a very big proponent of Katie, Katie Lance, K-A-T-I-E, and then L-A-N-C-E. And she talks about even just doing a virtual open house from your home office and take the people who are watching, like do a Facebook Live and take them through photo after photo after the photo of the house and point out things as you go. And I think that's a great idea. And then post it on Facebook and it repeats automatically. Very cool. That's, yeah. that's very creative. I love that idea. You could, you, could, that. you could show all the different backgrounds. So, I mean, I, you're, now, <laughs> you're now where and where's that house? Is that one of your listings? Oh, no, no, it's not. It's, it's uh, one of the templates. It's so that he's created for us yeah. for doing backgrounds. But you know what? They work. And yeah. But you know what, um, uh, Jay Kip from Seattle yeah. just suggested that we start using our listings. And this is one of my listings for the background. It's actually my house, but it's also oh, my perfect. listing. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So now I'm in my living room and I can yeah. choose to go to my garden and, uh, you know, right. why, why not? Here I am in my oh, backyard. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a great backyard. Oh, it's a great backyard. We love this house. And uh, we're sad to leave, but it's time. We, we really want to be able to travel more. It's a big house for two people. It's 3,500 right. square feet. Yeah. But it's really an Alberta house, isn't it? It's a side split. You know what? That could be right in Calgary. <laughs> I know. That's what we both grew up in, the side splits. You know, side splits yeah. in St. Albert. Uh, my dad lived in yeah. side split in St. Albert as well with his oh wife. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I never knew that. See? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's gone now for about 10 years, sadly, but uh, he was a great guy and he had a saddlery shop. He was, uh, he later on in life, he got into riding and uh, so he's a great guy. Anyways, um, yeah, so tell me about family. Are, have you got your family close to you or? Um, well, yeah, I mean, we're here in Calgary now. Similar to you, we actually decided just to sell our bigger house last year. So we're yeah. actually now living in you know one of the luxury condos here along the river, which I'm yeah. very grateful for now that yeah. we're here. Um, we actually have a gym, which is really important. Yeah, <laughs> it's still open because it's a private gym, and you know with restrictions, obviously. I'm but we're yeah. for that. Yeah, and um, you know the rest of my family is still actually in St. Albert and Edmonton, so we're going to be doing a Zoom call tomorrow for Easter. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody's yeah. going to make their own. Now, what do you do? Turkey or ham? Um, we'll be doing ham. Okay. Yes. I never know. I, I, you know, I come from a Jewish background, so we don't eat ham, but okay. it's, uh, turkeys have been one of my favorites, and I can't convince yeah. anybody here to go for a turkey this year. So, anyway. Oh. So what day are you doing your Easter dinner? No, we didn't. We don't do Easter. Uh, well, I don't do Easter. My partner may. But no, we're doing a, um, we've, we are going to be doing, we did, sorry, Passover, a Zoom okay. Passover Seder. Right. And yeah, it was great. Nice. We had about 20 people, more than we could ever hold in a house. Right. Uh, 20 connections and people in London, England and Vancouver and Toronto. And yeah, it's great. It's, it's amazing yeah. what you do when you are pressed press to be creative. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, we all crave that human connection. And I mean, this technology is wonderful for that. Oh, yeah, it is. Right? Definitely, definitely, definitely. In the meantime, we've been making a lot of chocolate chip cookies, trying to find the oh. right recipe, and a lot of oatmeal raisin cookies, and then oh. giving them away to all of our neighbors so we don't eat them all. Oh, oh I wish I was your neighbor. Yeah, well, they're... they're You'd, be, you'd have gained a couple of pounds by now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Corinne, I just want to say thank you and, you know, God bless. And I'm glad you're out, you know, in looking after yourself and your family and in Calgary. And if anybody has any thoughts of moving towards Calgary, I'll make sure that they know about you and that they call you. And, you know, it's a uh, so pleasure. 
Yeah, so, I'm, and, your girl. I'm your girl. Definitely. You're, you are our girl, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Well, thank you, Richard, for doing all of these interviews. I really enjoy watching them all. It's, it's really informative on, on everyone's market and how different yeah. they are. Yeah, and, it's, you know, this is, this is a time where we're all learning. Right? Yeah, and also, you know, if I do move, if I was to move, it would be so much better just to know, have a connection already. Absolutely. In where, you know, wherever you're moving to, whether it's Calgary, Banff, Vancouver, yeah. Victoria, or down south, you know, mm -hmm. so this is what we need to do more of. Absolutely. Anyways, thanks Thank very much. You. I appreciate Have it. And uh, we'll see each other face to face very soon. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Okay. Take thanks care. Again. Take Bye. care.